Cause it, it like even though you don't have to be necessarily like this extraordinary person to like be a prize, but like when I'm when I when, when I'm courting you or we're discussing things and I'm mm-hmm. getting to know you, then that's the opportunity for you to explain to me like what exactly and, you're, you're bringing to the and table. They can never and they can do never fucking do it. And that's ever, what's irritating. Bro, ever, they, yo, I, bro, the day oh I can get a reasonable God. explanation for why you're. I will wait. What is the reason? They actually never have a reason. They just believe <laughs> that about themselves. And you know, I got I'm all cool. I got I'm all cool with like good, like yo, believe in yourself, have one, good self esteem. Right? But don't be fucking delusional. Yo, one. bro, if you can't yeah. explain to me why you need to be the prize, then you're not no fucking prize, That's man. Like also, if you are a prize, why are you fucking with me? <laughs> I don't seem to be a prize. You're not pursuing. Yeah, cut the shit, man. <laughs> That's Cut how you feel. That was those pins up. That's so shit, so then, baby. Man. Yeah, those, those now, it's not, up. Hey, hey it's young not a, king, say what you need to say. It's not hundred percent, but every time I hear the like, um, uh, yeah, if I hear if I hear these <laughs> phrases, <laughs> yeah, if I hear these phrases, it's a red flag. Like you need to be a gentleman. I'm like, oh, yeah. oh okay. no, because she might just mean that like genuinely, but no. she might also mean that like she has nothing. To, you know what I mean? Like she just picked and choose which traditional things she like, and then she's not fucking with you. You don't know how to cook. You don't know how to do nothing. But I gotta be a man. Like that. That's a little bit of a red flag. I'm See, a this, prize. This is the pent up shit he couldn't be talking about for the past I'm couple months. I'm a prize. Months. That's no, bro. You, you're not. But if you are, then wow, I'm real lucky to be in this conversation because yeah, um, is is it rare? Where I feel like you you're exceptional at this. Like it could be whatever, bro. It could be like you're very caring. You're very understanding. It could be like you're great. You have you're a great cook. Mm. Your 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 career. You're so what far else? in your career. Like there's plenty of things you could, can be exceptional. Could be you're great at what? And a you, lot of things. You could be you could be great in bed. Like you could be great in that could be an exceptional quality. Some of these people have no exceptional qualities, man. None. But they're prizes. Here, yeah, here's, a, here's a here's a great like what is it? Not example like when you're trying to analogy. It's almost like when you're dating women. Like some women, it's almost like you're playing a game where. You try to figure out like what's behind door number games. one or number yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. And like for like some women will just let you know what's behind door number three. Like they'll be like, This is this is it, this is me, like yada yada mm. yada. But then there's also these other women who have like what's That's behind what Lisa, door it? number one. Yeah. yeah. Lisa. <laughs> it's number three. <laughs> <laughs> and then like you'd be like, you see door number one, mm. and the door itself might look better than the door on number three and stuff like that. And mm. so you may be enticed, but if you're not telling me what's behind the door. Why am I just supposed to be number one looks better than number three? Yeah, the door itself looks better than like the number the number That's one door Courtney. is better than number three. Yeah, exactly. Courtney. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so then, but like you're not telling me what's behind the door. So then, like, why Who's am I two? going crazy? Yeah. Oh. Some some ran, uh, n- number two is some random broad <laughs> who the door don't even look that good, and she's still not opening the door for me to figure out what's going yeah, that's, on. That's always what. Well. Yeah, oh, that's Amy. That's tough. Oh my god. That's what that's that's what that is. That's tough. Yeah, that's tough, man. Tough. That is tough. When you, I'll be like, like yo, tough. At least, <laughs> you at least, names. at least, at least, look like door number one before you play these exactly. door number one games. Word, word. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. So I will always. <laughs> will always entertain door number three because I already know what's behind the door. Mm. This is yeah, I think back. the dishonesty is like it's, it's at an all time high. You know what I mean? Like, because yeah. dude, they'll if they like you, they will make you pursue them. But they'll you say think- they'll make they'll they'll paint themselves as the person that you like. Well, you know what I mean? Like, Which what's your interest? Do you think a lot of the shit. dishonesty comes from social media? That's what he said up there. Yeah. yeah. No, I genuinely believe that the reason it's like so wild is because like the dating apps. Because yeah. in real life, I have like a pretty solid, like if I ask 10 women for their numbers, at least four is going to give me their numbers. Mm-hmm. Uh, but on dating apps, like I shoot one for fucking 10. Are you guys mad? Here's another thing too. And this may just be me. I'm like mad specific when it comes to dating apps. And the reason why is because like they're literally giving me all the women in my area like to literally choose from. Mm-hmm. So like, why would so I you're not way more be, selective. why would I, yeah. Why would I not be super specific when that shit wasn't around? I like valued more like who I met at any given yeah, time. That's what I've been saying that those apps are not human, man. They, yeah. they strip your humanity from you. Cause you're basing, bro. you're making decisions on like basically who you want to fuck if you're a guy. Um, but the only information you have is what they look facts, like. Facts. You do be speaking. That's facts. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, they could be a miserable person. They could make you miserable by association. <laughs> but you don't know that because they look beautiful. Mm. You fucking swipe. I'm telling you, that shit is not human, man. It's not human. No part of that is human. But, um, like, uh, it was Abba and Preach react to a video. I don't know if you saw it. But a, a girl, 
uh, used a guy's photos on dating profile. And she was talking about her experience and how it's so different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very different. As a guy, unless you're like in the top fucking 20th percentile, you're not getting like heavy swipes, period. You know what I'm saying? Unless you got some OD in your bio and they think that they could benefit. Like if you're rich say, as shit and you show it off, You have maybe. to put in your bio... Your credentials, yeah, yeah. You had to put your credentials as a in your bio as a as a man. Word. But as a woman, you don't yeah, gotta do that. Look, you can you just post. You might pictures. not even have to look pretty because you can get. You could have not have a bio and stuff. I'm being very serious. Yeah, that's, you know you have to have a bio. You don't even have to like put. You no don't text. have to have a bio if you're a girl. But so that's why women believe their prizes, and some of them are no cap. Yeah. But a lot of them aren't. But the reason they believe Tough. they are is because when they go on Tinder or whatever, they're getting swiped by like seven out of ten people. Regardless, yeah. So if they know that seventy percent of people out there wants to fuck them, of course they're gonna believe they're a prize. And so of again, course. it goes back to my original point that I've always made: mm. it's the fucking men's problem because y'all. It simps, is. It's, y'all. I simps, swear to God, it y'all is. Y'all simps be fucking up All for right. everybody. It's the men's problem because if if women if women didn't get that type of attention, they wouldn't act that way. It's the fucking simps problems. That's for it. Real. It's the fucking simps. As soon as hey. women figured out that there were gonna be men who would pay for pictures of them. They made OnlyFans. I'm changed. I, I'm, I'm never going to drop $125 in, in a female's chat ever again. Hey, man, that's on you, bro. But you know to saying? them, like... <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, it's, it's not going to stop, right? I guess, at the end of the day, it's, it's biological. Guys are just way hornier. Mm. And, um, Don't let a woman tell you that, though. Yeah, no, they're, they're wrong. Like, no, every guy's out, bro. No, <laughs> dude, you have no clue. I heard, I, dude, and I, I heard somebody, some girl tried to argue with me that like, oh no, I can be just as horny as you. And I was like, no, no you have no idea. Why are so they even selective on no who idea. you fuck? If you were as horny as me, you would have no like criteria. <laughs> like you would anything, you would have done it. But that's a lot of guys. Patrice O'Neill had a very funny bit about that, uh, about like him, he'd be willing to fuck a girl behind a dumpster. But if he asked his <laughs> wife, his wife wouldn't be willing to fuck like David Beckham because she cares about the marriage or whatever. Because like, you know, women can like, yeah. Yeah, but this like, yeah. that means you're not as, like, you don't love food as much as me. You might love food, but did you binge and gain 160 calories and couldn't stop even though you know you should have? No, then you don't love it as much as I do. <laughs> you're not in the same ballpark when it comes to loving it's, food. It's crazy that they think like that's like a competition. Like we just like, oh no, I'm, I'm hornier than you. And I'm like, just fat. I, don't, I don't, it's not even like a thing that I enjoy about myself right yeah. now. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, just bring any guy, yeah. like, oh yeah, that's, that's me right there. That defines me. Like, the fact that I, like, I might like, look at a woman and be like, eh. But I still hit. I might still hit. <laughs> you know so, like, the fact that, like, I have to, like, convince myself of the amount of things that she might, like, the, like, the qualities that might be a negative. Like, I have to start adding that shit up for, to convince myself to not to hit. Yeah. Whereas, <laughs> whereas you are trying to figure out the positives to convince yourself to finally hit. <laughs> I'm trying to like add shit to convince myself not to hit. So yeah, it is like the guys fuel it because um, yeah, it's, it's guys it's for a, sure. It's like guys, you know, what I mean, it's guys, bro. yeah. If, if every guy on earth just immediately became more selective, then women actually would have no choice but to be selective. But that's they don't I have mean to get their credentials up. But mm. it's it's nature though. Like even when you look at all these like. Um, documentaries about how like this specific type of bird or penguin mates it's almost every time it's like you want to like the women are the prize in nature a lot of the time and that the guy has to be like you have to be that bird like every bird in the fucking kingdom has to know about you for you to get for you to get that girl so i mean it's not even like i'm complaining or whatever you know i'm that penguin it's it's that it's the game at the end of the day low you don't think when i get fit i'm gonna be that guy come on bro i already have everything else kind of figured out i get in my life so it's like but if it's you just, go around spending and tricking a whole bunch of money off, I'm gonna be upset because mm, you're true. doing nothing that's but true. rising the price of pussy. Oh, no, that's, that's, it. that's different. That's different. <laughs> you are ri- you, they are systematically rising the price of pussy because on on back in the day they gonna give it up off of one or two dates. Now it's like not only we got to go on like three or four dates, but the dates got to be at X Y Z spot, and we got to do a whole bunch of other extra shit. You got to call me, say good morning, say good night, oh, ask me how my like, I ain't got, why I gotta do all that shit. Where? If you mm. want to fuck, then fuck. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that sounds like some bent up shit from you. That's, I'm just saying, you've been holding, you've been holding back all these podcasts. If you just want to hey. fuck, then fuck. Don't have me go through all these loopholes just because the last nigga that you didn't let beat did that shit. That's crazy. That is crazy. I don't give a fuck what he did. I don't baby. care. I'm Absolute not that nigga. Baby. That's why you're talking to me. You're not talking to that nigga no more. Because I'm not hey, that nigga. Look the at the degree, camera when you say it. That's degree, what I'm saying. The degree to which I believe that. Like, have, have women ever did, like, jealousy tests on you where they'll say something that's the, trying that's to get you to be jealous? Psychotic behavior. Yes. 
It's not even that I don't have to try to be jealous. I actually couldn't care less if you actually did that because he's not as good as me. So you'd be making a fucking mistake. So that's, that's even the crazy part. They're making us prove our credentials all throughout and then want to do that bullshit jealousy shit. And I'm like, I already know I'm better than him because you had me prove it to you for the past three, four months now. Mm. So if I wasn't that nigga, then you wouldn't even be talking to me. You'd be talking to the other dude. So no, I don't have to prove shit to you no more. I don't care about your jealousy test. I see you leaning Word. in. That's a fact. <laughs> I just don't care about it because I already know I'm 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 that nigga because mm. you've already proved it. And if I wasn't, you would have stopped talking to me. Yeah, it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. And you know what? And I, I have no stakes in it. Like you could stop talking to me and it'd be just fine. Exactly. I'm not gonna be bent over that.